I, I love and adore testing. I, I, I have fundamentally come to believe that the, the greatest gift to humanity from the internet is the ability to be proven wrong fast. I just love this power that I can get from the web because it can unleash a, a level of creativity and experimentation that, that truly, truly adds to the bottom line. Um, the thing I, I recommend to people is start with the simple, which is uh, tied back to our other answer, right? Which is once you find uh, certain experiences on your websites or landing pages, let's say, that are not effective, start with very simple A-B experiments to say, you know, we've got a, rather than allowing um, a very highly paid person around the table to decide what they should be doing, we call these people hippos, the highest paid person's opinion. That's really what rules in the world in reality is to say everybody comes together with a cluster of ideas we can use tools like uh, the free tool from google called website optimizer other tools like test and target optimist very easy to use tools you implement on your website you upload all your creatives different versions of the page call to action all those things are shown to people who come to your website and it tells you when the data has reached statistical significance and tells you this hero worked really well, or that call to action worked really well, or this messaging worked, whatever the, the outcome is. So start with the simplest, but go to the other index as well. I'm a huge fan of controlled experiments. So here's a great story, uh, a recent story from our own experience, which is the CEO of a company, a CMO of a company decided, we're not going to buy uh, paid search ads for our brand terms because we rank number one for SEO, the organic free results. And that, that's a great opinion to have. And, and I said to the CMO, why don't we convert it into a hypothesis? And what we'll do is we'll conduct a six-week experiment, and we'll spend money on, on uh, paid search across any search engine. We'll spend money on paid search, and we won't spend it. Then we'll increase it, decrease it by different geography. And we're going to measure what happens. Because you have an opinion. We don't know if it's a valid one or not. So we construct the experiment. And the first thing we were able to prove to the CMO is indeed, if you buy paid search advertising, when you rank number one for your organic terms, there is 11% cannibalization, which means you started to pay for 11% of the customers you've gotten for free. Data, right? But the other thing we also reported back from the six-week experiment is there was a 46% improvement in conversion when you run those paid search ads. Now, now think of how much money this company had lost not knowing that this particular methodology was so effective. So the great thing about experimentation on the web and testing is you can start with the simple or you can go to the really complex. They are easy and effective to do, and they help you figure out which of your opinions are valid, which ones are not. It's really, really hard to do this in the offline world. In the online world, you can do it at scale and create what I call a data democracy in your company rather than having opinions run the roost.